Hello and welcome to Deep Sleep. This is Ados10 here, and welcome to this single player walkthrough of the game. So this is obviously my first single player video, <coughs> so I'll just be walking through, just showing you how to uh, complete this game. Uh, very fun one, one of my favourites that I've played through my limited experience. So I'm going to start off with a new game. Just a quote here from Frederick. What is that? What is that word? I, I don't even know. I don't know if that was a Z or what. So you start off in this room. I've just woken up. So you want to grab the key from this vase here. You open all the doors if you want. Oh, you can't. Well, it's been a while since I've played this. I can't remember. Anyway, so you'll use the key on this here and you'll get this. Obviously now, as you can see, the room has fallen apart. So just before you go anywhere else, you want to head back here. Obviously the, app, the layout has completely changed. You see a body in bed, but you want to grab the right arm. You'll see why later. And you want to go back through here into this room. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but there is a phone ringing. It's coming from this direction, so that's the way we're going to head. Just keep going down these steps. And you're coming here, and here's the phone. Turn that on, or take it off, sorry. Phone says, you know, wake up, you have to wake up. Probably can't hear that. So open this drawer and you'll get the flashlight. You'll notice you can't do anything yet, and there's a locked drawer up here. So you want to head back out, there's nothing more to do here for the time being. And head back out and down these stairs, all the way down to the bottom. There's a note from yourself here. I'm sure this note gets to you somehow. At this point, you should know all this is not real. I hope the inner awakening went well and you have a full, lucid control over you, over the dream. Conceal it yourself. So this is about the storyline. So if you come in here, oops, wrong room. You want to head down this room now, then you'll see this, just a bit of cloth. You want to head back upstairs quickly, now into this room, and get the cloth, and just soak it in the water make it nice and clean or whatever, wet I should say, just grab a, where is it, lump of coal somewhere around here, there we are, lucky piece of coal and come closer here to the furnace, yep, yes, someone's, his hands on the door, dirty handprints, they want to just, nice one, not with this in furnace, oh yeah, of course, so you come back out here and you'll get the bone and it conveniently fits straight into this keyhole or lever, whatever. Use it as a lever to turn the furnace off. You want to head back in here. Obviously, handle's pretty hot. Uh, oops, what am I doing? Handle's pretty hot, so you want to get the cloth and that'll just help loosen them up so you can turn it. Head inside here, find this key on the ground. Not over yet though, you want to head down here and just hold your mouse and just slide across the screen just to wipe the screen to uh, wipe off all the dirt from the back wall. And here you will find a code, a four letter code I believe it is, four numbers. What have we got here? 9629. It's different for every game so you can't use this one if you're watching. Uh, after you find out your code you want to head back out of the door here and back upstairs. Upstairs. Oops, just trying to ring the bell there. Anyway, back up here and back through this door now. And back into the phone room. Phone's still ringing. You doors still off, so obviously you want to use the key on it. Get the batteries. Batteries obviously go into the soaking pet piece of cloth. I'm only joking, it's obviously the torch. I don't think I was fooling anyone there, but anyway. So you want to head back down the stairs. And if you did go decide to go into this room, you'll notice how you couldn't go in because it was a bit dark. With the flashlight, you now see. Wake up, written on the wall. Seems to be a common theme in this game. Oh, so it's a noise from behind me. That freaked me out a little bit myself. I'm going to quickly head in here. And this room isn't really relevant, but says on the wall, little Cody is lost without his plushy tiger. 
So that that game that's not really relevant to the mo um, at the moment, but in this um, second game it is important. So you want to uh, remember that. So you want to head through here now, just go up a bit closer, and come out here. So head down the bottom, you'll find this, just the hook, and you want to jump into this window here. Obviously, there's a key that would oh, nine six two nine. Yep, for this one, and you'll head back out from there. And you want to open the door all the way. Click on the handle. Get the flashlight out. Go ahead, all the way down this corridor here. To this door. Grab the pickaxe. Open the door and get ready to run. So you want to run back as quick as you can, all the way back to here, and you've got to quickly, very quickly, go backwards to shut the door. Up, oh, all the way. Oh, it's always scary. I know from previous experience that even if you leave a tiny crack open in that door, uh, the monster can still get through, so you do not want to do that. So you head back up here and in here, this is this room here, you might not have seen it before, it just stops to the side here, pretty discreet, has other stories here, so my daughter went to sleep and she never woke up, my son's personality has completely changed overnight, so the, all these stories are related to the storyline, mayor's wife is possessed, a man kills his family after waking up from a coma, and then this final one, you are next, it's time to pay a price for playing with things you don't comprehend. So that's really just part of the storyline. There's always these, there's these nifty things um, throughout these games. So head back out here now. And this room we have not visited yet. Just the wall. Uh, pickaxe here will be used just to click out and click three times on the wall. On the actual wall, not the hole. And that will open up a hole through. So you want to head out. Grab the fishing net and head straight back while we're here. Get the net and combine it with the hook. So we got net with the hook. I, if you if you noticed before, when we headed through this door, there was a extra window which we didn't go through up here. So we want to use the use the uh, hooks. Up, up, if I can get my aim right up there, climb up through this window. And here's an automated message, which was the phone uh, from before. So you have the golden key, and we have this box, which we got right at the start. I didn't really explain this, but we now want to use the key on the box, and we'll get a shiny gem from here. We're going to head back out, because there's nothing further to do just at the minute. So, now, main... The end game is now played back through here. There is a lighthouse over this way. You're going to head up into it, all the way to the top, and then straight to the bottom. Cover your eyes if you're a bit freaky. Oh, hold on a sec. What have I forgotten to do? I've missed something here. What have I done? What have I forgotten to do? Oh, I know what I've done wrong. I was I was I was there the whole time. My mistake. So you head back. You still have to head back up here, and now you want to put the gem up here. Now you head back to the top. Do not panic. Now you want to run quickly all the way back. So from here, quickly use these levers. You've got to position the lights on the creature. Oops, I messed it up again. Nearly got myself killed, but that is it. So, that ends the game. You've killed the monster with the light. And then, just like that, I woke up. Well, I mean, I was already awake, but the character in the game obviously wasn't. The nightmare was over, but my life has changed forever. It's good to know. Was it all just a dream, or were these creatures real? I'm not really sure, I mean, I don't know, it's just a game. But I have to know, I just have to know the truth, I can't stop thinking about it. You should probably see someone about that, that can be a bit of an issue, but I have to go back apparently, back to the deep sleep. Well, there we have it everybody, I uh, hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, um, please
please stay tuned because I'm sure I will be doing the second game as well and any future games in the series. So until then, goodbye. Um, yeah, see you later. Check out our other videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to Rhino29. I guess. Alright, see you later.